That little man in the back over there say, women need to be helped in the carriages and over mud puddles. And I'm here to tell you, ain't nobody helped me in no carriages. And I ain't never been helped over nary a mud puddle. And ain't I a woman? Oprah has been reciting these words since she was a young woman. They're the daring thoughts of one of the most powerful figures in African-American history, the abolitionist and women's rights advocate, Sojourner Truth. The woman we know as Sojourner Truth was born Isabella Bomfrey. She was born enslaved. She lived with several masters before running away to New York City where she changed her name to a name that announces her mission as someone who is on the road to telling the truth. She was an itinerant preacher, and so the name Sojourner fit quite well. In the 1840s, Sojourner Truth committed her voice to the abolitionist movement and became a formidable and widely respected equal rights activist. Although she never learned to read or write, Truth was an extremely popular speaker at anti-slavery and women's rights gatherings. And in 1850, she published a book, The Narrative of Sojourner Truth, which she dictated to a white feminist author. But it was a speech she delivered in 1851 to a crowd in Ohio that would make Sojourner Truth a feminist icon. I done born 13 children and then seen them all sold off into slavery. And when I cried out with a woman's grief, ain't nobody but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? So the thing we know Sojourner Truth for is that she said famously, ain't I a woman? Or did she? Because the historian Nell Painter says that really her words were twisted to fit the agenda of a white woman journalist who came to hear her talk. But what we do know for sure about Sojourner Truth is that she had a long history of showing up particularly to suffrage spaces to challenge people's most fundamental belief system. And so even if she didn't say, ain't I a woman? She is saying, see me for who I am. Recognize my gender, recognize my struggle, and treat me with dignity and respect. 